Hey guys, welcome back. Today I would like to show you how to downgrade iOS 110 back to iOS 10.5 official. Here is my iPhone 11 Pro Max. It is on iOS 110 beta 1 and we're gonna downgrade without losing any photo, apps and more. Now let me connect my iPhone into my Mac. If you have Windows PC, you can follow the same method. And now um, after we connect, you're gonna see your phone here. And uh, first, you need to back up your device by click on backup now. After the backup is complete, uh, we need to download IPSW file. Now we need to go into IPSW.me and after that you need to select your iPhone. So let me click on iPhone here and you have a bunch of listed about the iPhone. Uh, what you're gonna do is to select your device. In my case, it is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Just select on it and then we have uh, 16.5. Just go ahead and select on it and then you're gonna click on download. The file is about uh, 6 gigabyte, and here we go. And I have already downloaded, so I don't need to do that again. But for you, you need to download until it is complete. And we have the file right here. And now we need to restore and downgrade back to 16.5. But first, uh, on your phone, you need to turn off uh, iCloud. If you have, you, you need to turn off Find My iPhone. So let me go into here. And if you have iCloud, you need to sign out. And then on your Mac, you need to hold on Option and then click on Restore iPhone. It is going to ask you to select IPSW file, the file that you need, uh, the file that you download before. Now you need to click on the file, click on open, and then click on restore. It is going to restore back to 16.5, and uh, just wait. It may take a while, and I'm gonna speed up the video so you don't have to wait. And then in this step, you need to select on restore from this backup file, but you need to uh, you need to change the backup file first because it is on iOS 17, it may not support 16.5, so we need to uh, change some setting inside uh, your PC. Uh, for Mac, you need to click on go, and then you need to click on go to folder, and you need to tie something like this. I'm gonna put it in my video command. You can copy this, and then just uh, go ahead and click on the return. For Windows PC, the step is a little bit different, but I'm gonna put on the screen here. You can follow along. And after that, you're gonna find this backup file. Click on the backup file, scroll down. You're gonna go into info.place, right click, and then to open in tech edit. And for Windows PC, it go it's going to be notepad. And then you need to click on edit, find, click on find. You're gonna, gonna type product, click on return. And then you're gonna find, scroll down a bit, you're gonna find iOS 17.0. 17.0 here and then from here we need to change to iOS 16.5 and that's it just go ahead and close it and after that we're gonna go back into our phone and then you need to click on restore backup and select the backup file that you have just uh, backup before you downgrade click on restore and click on erase and restore restore right there and now I'll take a look on my phone it is uh, going to uh, restore the backup uh, backup file that we held back up before. Now that's it, it is on 16.5. So if you're going to setting, general and about, I am on a 16.5 right here, and my data still remain. Thanks for watching, and make sure you follow the same method as I did. And then I will see you guys in the next one.